Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf and I am here with the Sean Austin band. Oh my gosh, first of all, I just found out all these guys are from Tupelo, Mississippi. And that is rad because that is the birthplace of Elvis and we've been talking about that all day like with different people. Like we were just doing it in one of the other interviews. So I, I'm so glad you guys brought that up. Yeah. But we're here, CMA Fest. You guys are performing Alley Taps. Yes. Or you just performed. Yes, we did. And just, you just, just killed it is what I was told. Wow, thank you. Thank I was you doing so much. an interview so I didn't get to hear, but I will rewatch our live feed because I am nice. so excited we got to video it. How was it for you? How was the crowd? The crowd was amazing. It was great energy. It was hot. Yeah. It was hot. Yes. It was hot. <laughs> I did hear from Jeff McCool that those lights were pretty damn hot. <laughs> our, 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 our bass player, before we even started playing, he he didn't want nothing else, but all he wanted was flames. He said he wanted flames. Well, I, I, think, I think we, we yeah, I think we got them for like sure. It, it did. It like sure did, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So so was this your guys' first CMA Fest? Is it? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow, but it's not your first trip to Nashville, right? Please tell me it's not your no, first trip. No. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. So how, how is it being here at CMA Fest then? I mean, that's got to be huge your very first time here. It's de it's definitely, you know, it's definitely an experience that, you know, uh, you, you come up here and you hear all the talent and you're like, wow, you are amongst, you know, mm -hmm. the greats and all, all the stuff. And it's just like, you know, just wow. It's overwhelming. Really, it is. But, I mean, uh we came up here. We had we had a dream, and we wanted to rock the place, and I think we succeeded in that. Absolutely. I mean, the place has been packed all night. And see, I get to spy on you guys on the security footage oh, back no. there. Oh no! Oh no! So I you, just don't oh, have God. audio, so I couldn't oh. hear anything. So you're probably wondering why the the guy in the middle was jumping around like a big <laughs> lunatic. Okay. Okay. Well, no, because I'm me, and I know me, and I, you're just my people. You know. Awesome. Awesome. It's just great. No question, man. <laughs> right so what do you guys have coming up then what else do you have coming up let's talk about this um you got an ep coming out july the 28th the single is out now it's called crazy love uh you can get that on itunes spotify apple music you can steal it illegally no don't do that <laughs> i'm just kidding no don't do that don't do that just playing <laughs> but the ep uh comes out um it's going to be break the doors down part one okay and uh then the second part is supposed to come out in late in late fall but it's uh, the first EP is going to be like six songs. It's more summertime stuff. It's more of the fun stuff. And then the second part of the record is the more of uh, the heartfelt stuff. So right. wow. uh, we, can't, we can't wait for you all to hear the music. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, did you guys have fans that were, were watching the live stream tonight? Because I know every you guys have been social you know, media promoting all of this. Mm -hmm. So have you had people talking to you about your first CMA you know, performance? Yes, I mean, I, I know today I've had messages from people saying, oh, we're going to watch, we're going to watch, and I don't know, but I'll let these guys answer, too. Okay. But. Yeah, I've, I've had people tell me, oh, we're going we're gonna to watch. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And we brought yeah. a bunch with us. So. Yeah. 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 We brought a yeah. to see the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's great, though. I mean, it's been so much fun to watch all of our artists, and they have family, and they have friends, and they have fans that are coming and supporting them. And then you have other artists who are like, man, we want to stick around and watch these guys. And then we're back here and we're getting to watch everybody meet. And then we're getting to watch, you know, just the connections and let's trade social medias and let's trade it's phone really numbers cool. and let's collaborate. Yeah. It's just a networking yes. deal, like a whole networking. It's really, and I think it's good for artists in general to, uh, to network, meet each mm -hmm. other, because a lot of times it may be like, Hey, I got a show coming up. You want to come play with me? Acoustic show or whatever. Right. So it's good to meet other people and really make that connection. Mm -hmm. You don't get to meet everybody all the time. Basically. You know, I, I think there's a line, you know, uh, a lot of people's like, you know, do you compete with artists and stuff like that? And it's like, no, you know, it's like you make friends with them and, and exactly. you, you build them up. You don't mm -hmm. tear them down, you know, and, and that's the thing that all of us in this band that we always, no matter what, we're, we're going to build whoever we're opening for up or, right. you know, the, we have opening act in front of us. We're going to build them up. You know, we're not trying to hurt nobody. We're, you know, we're all just trying to do the same thing. Absolutely. The same dream. Absolutely. And networking, I think, is so great. And Nashville is the biggest small town you're ever mm -hmm. going to be in. Yes. It's, I mean, the music that's here, the people that are here, they everybody knows somebody that you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's just... There's no way around it. You're going to eventually hear that one story and it's going to blow your mind and you're going to be like, how the hell are we so connected? And then it's going to continue to happen and you just, it, it, it never gets old. And it's just, it, it's one of the greatest things I think I've ever experienced. And I'm just on this side of it, right. but I see it happen all the time. And then we just throw our hands up and walk away. It's like, wow, <laughs> happened again. You know, so those moments, they're going to be coming for you and I can't wait to, to see it. And 
all, all the things that you have coming up. And oh, thank you. So you thank know, you so much. I, absolutely. But I want to get back to your music. Okay. I want to get back to all of that. I want to know where your inspiration comes from. Oh, wow. Well. I can't. <laughs> Don't say Don't say Y'all took the answer right from me, guys. Uh, you know, hunk a hunk of burning love. You know, no, I'm playing. Uh, no, inspiration. Yeah. Oh, yeah, life experiences for sure. Um, you know, writing songs. I've been writing songs since I was 16. Started writing good songs at 26. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but Honesty. No, well, yeah, well, I'll tell you, my wife, she is the 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 worst critic besides the producer uh she'll tell me when something ain't right so and uh, i'll usually you play have her a tendency stuff. to do that oh yes <laughs> but uh yeah li life experiences um it, whether it's a song ab about a girl usually it's a song about about my wife you know mm -hmm. and if it, or if it's a breakup song it's not about her you know that's <laughs> that's because a uh, real quick story there's a song on the upcoming ep called fire and water and we played it live tonight it's actually her favorite song but i wrote it three weeks before we got married and i played it for her I'm so excited to play it for her and we finished and her and her look is just like this what are you trying to say <laughs> and i said i'm not trying to say nothing about us i mean we're we know we're perfect go look we've been getting married i said that's about the exes and you know and all all my other buddies and stuff going through problems i said we're fine <laughs> and then six months later i wrote another song called signing away sign in sign in, sign in. but yeah uh i'm wow. very blessed you know and and god and you know god he gives the ideas because i know i couldn't do it without him and Absolutely. without these guys right here so and I'm so glad you said that. That's been a real common theme with our interviews this week. And it's been, it's just been uh, beautiful is the only way I can think of it. It was when every interview that we hear that. And it's just, man, it just warms the heart when you hear that. And, and I love that you recognize it. And you know what? It's all in God's timing, too. Exactly. You know, every song, every, everything. It's just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I love it. That was my, my artist that started this was Mo Pitney. And he has a song called Everywhere. And that's oh, what it's I about. I know Mo. I know Mo. And yeah. Mo is just such a beautiful soul. And I yes. love it. And we had an amazing interview yesterday. And then you bring it back today. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, guys. Oh, no problem. Oh, thank what you a way to so end much. a night. <laughs> Awesome. So what are you going to do the rest of CMA Fest? Are you guys going to stick around town? Well, I, uh, well yeah, I think we're all. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, but this guy's pretty much got yeah. He's pretty all hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's got birthday. birthdays tomorrow. Yeah. My kids and my twins, the uh, boy and girl, they got their three-year-old birthday is tomorrow. Aww. So me and the wife and all of us, we're heading back tonight. Going to surprise okay. them with gifts and stuff in the morning. <laughs> So, oh, that's awesome. All right. And then he's got, what you got? You got the bike, Riley, don't you? Your bike ride for the charity. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. charity are you doing? Uh, big Brother, Big Sister. Oh, fun. Yeah. Good stuff. Fun. Stuff. That's awesome. I mean, way to help out. I love yes. that. And what about you? What do you got going on? Just going back to do some more work. Good. Yeah, just do some yeah. more work. That regular nine to five. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all of us. You got to <laughs> You got to do the work, right? Make yeah. it happen. Exactly. That's awesome. Well, guys, stay tuned for more from these guys because they're great, they're awesome, and they're good people, and we love good people here. Until next time, we'll see you soon.